This is a big year for CLL. There's a lot of new data that's been uh, reported. There are two large randomized phase three clinical trials that are being reported. One as a plenary session. Uh, the plenary session is an alliance study. It's a multi-center phase three study uh, that has three arms. One is ibrutinib monotherapy, ibrutinib plus rituximab, or bendamustine plus rituximab. And this was a frontline trial for older, less fit patients. They were randomized to one of those three different treatment arms. And that trial showed that there was a improved progression-free survival for those patients who got ibrutinib-based therapy, either ibrutinib monotherapy or ibrutinib with rituximab. It doesn't appear that there is benefit with the addition of rituximab uh, to ibrutinib, but clearly those two ibrutinib-based arms are superior to the bendamustine rituximab chemoimmunotherapy arm. Um, although there is, was some discussion about toxicity on treatment with ibrutinib and the authors were proposing that it, the direction that we need to move most likely is fixed duration treatment with the small molecule inhibitors. So that's one very positive trial showing ibrutinib improved outcomes with ibrutinib. The other is a late breaking abstract that's being reported, which is a two-arm phase three randomized study of ibrutinib rituximab versus FCR in the frontline setting for fit patients with CLL. That trial showed not only improvement in progression-free survival with ibrutinib rituximab, but also improvement in overall survival with ibrutinib rituximab over FCR in the frontline setting. So that establishes superiority with ibrutinib plus rituximab over chemoimmunotherapy. And some of the other, we haven't seen yet the, the data in detail, but um, in terms of the abstract, one of the caveats is that the improvement in outcomes, particularly for progression-free survival, were more notable with ibrutinib rituximab for the patients who have an unmutated V-gene than those who have a mutated V-gene. And the other, I think, comment to make is that the ibrutinib rituximab is a continuous treatment. So patients go on ibrutinib, they receive doses of rituximab initially, but they stay on ibrutinib until progression. And that's in contrast to the chemoimmunotherapy strategy where patients are getting a fixed number of cycles and then are monitored for progression. But, um, the improvement in overall survival, I think, is a remarkable feature with this study, and we're anxious to hear more details about survival and the deaths that occur for patients in this study, particularly on the FCR arm, and what those deaths uh, relate to. But two very large trials showing improvement in outcomes with ibrutinib-based therapy.